Use Air West 706, reset your transponder. Radar contact lost. Radio check, how do you hear me? What the hell happened? A DC-9 with 49 people on board has slammed into the California hills. Controllers should have been able to spot the F-4 and warn Hughes Air West Flight 706 that it was on a collision course. Investigators hope recordings of air traffic radar will tell them more about what the F-4 pilots were doing. But the controllers on duty that day say the fighter didn't appear on their radar at all. I would have warned Hughes if I'd seen the jet. And they have the tapes to prove it. There appears to be no way to explain why the radar system in Palmdale didn't detect the F-4. Then, investigators discover some key details about the equipment installed there. The system may not have been reliable enough to accurately track a fast-moving fighter jet. Investigators conduct a radar test. They fly an F-4 along the route to see whether it can be picked up by radar in Palmdale. Oh, was that something there? The F-4 does six runs. The controller can barely track the high-speed fighter. It might have been a plane, or maybe not. They conclude it was almost impossible to detect the Marine F-4 as it streaked across the sky. To make matters worse, in 1971, military pilots were not routinely briefed on civilian air traffic routes. And the military plane was not under orders to check in with civilian air traffic control. The investigators reach an alarming conclusion. Air transportation in America has a dangerous flaw. The military and civilian systems don't communicate. The exhaustive investigation produces two separate reports, one civilian and one military. They cover every detail of the deadly accident. The reports lead to important changes in the rules governing aviation. Military pilots are now advised of all restricted air traffic zones near commercial airports. The size and shape of the zones has also changed. No longer merely spokes on a hub, restricted airspace at busy airports now surrounds the entire terminal. Lessons learned from the accident helped force changes to air traffic control that make passengers safer to this day.